okay so let's continue with our like uh, python series and in this series like what we are doing is we are covering some python uh, interview question which generally asked in the python interview along with that we are also covering some python topics so which may be like uh, they can ask like if you know about that topic that is not particularly a question but the whole topic so they can ask so one of the topic is so in this video like we will like uh, see about the invoke so invoke is a one library in the python right so what is invoke and uh, why we need to use it what are its advantage what are its disadvantage how to use it right so we will cover like everything uh, in this video so let's start so what is invoke so first uh, like what actually like this library is like why we need this because anyhow like we are writing some python programs right we never use this invoke library till now so like why should i suddenly start using this invoke library so invoke is a python library it's not first thing that it is not an inbuilt library so when you install the python so some libraries automatically get installed in the python right so this library doesn't automatically get installed with the python so this is the external library which has been created by someone so this is the external library so you need to manually install this library so how to install this library you just need to install the pip install invoke so if you go to the py py uh, py, py and you can search for the invoke so you will see this library invoke 2.2.0 pip install invoke. so you can install this library okay Okay, so, so this is one thing, uh, how to install this and whether this is an inbuilt library or whether this is something which we are learning something extra. Uh, as an example, Flask, Flask is not an inbuilt library. So this is that is something extra library. So similarly, Invoke is something extra library. Okay, then what, like, uh, why do we need this library? Like, what is its use? Okay, and we know how to install that, that is perfectly fine. But why we need this? So this library is to automate any task in Python and in python as well but using the python uh, programming language so before the invoke uh, i'm not sure like if we are aware about the make file make file so if you go this make file tutorial make file so make file is a, a file generally like we have this kind of syntax uh, this kind of syntax hello echo world uh, some some kind of like a tab separated syntax and we define some name and under that name whatever that whatever the script which which we want to execute we mention that and then we define one more uh, keyword we can uh, like uh, and how to run that like we can just like make hello then we will print like hello world or if there is a one command hello then only need, need to write make so this is the make file make file is widely used like so it is no doubt it is widely used and it is it is initially uh, like uh, started in the C and C++ project, but down the line, it has been used by all the other projects like Java, uh, Go, Rust, even in the Python, we are we are using these make files to automate the task. To automate the task, let's suppose uh, you are in some project and you are creating some, uh, some Python scripts. So there are so many Python scripts. So as an example, so maybe you have some project, maybe some Python project, and in that there are so many Python scripts. So one Python script is to fetch the files from the S3 bucket and uh, download into your local. So one is that Python script, that is very long script, right? And maybe you create one more uh, py files to start some services in your local, maybe Docker Compose some services, and that is a very whole uh, like uh, Docker Compose file, which is going to start four or five services. Maybe one uh, one script is to uh, publish your package to the Docker Hub or some other RT directory. So there are different different scripts. Now, if you want to run all the scripts, what you have to do, you will just come to the terminal and you will write Python, and then the location of the script, all right? So location path to and then script name, all right? So you will like uh, run that, and every time you need to learn like you need to like aware about this location along with that along with that if if like something needs to be started before that script so you need to like uh, either you need to do some kind of documentation in some readme file okay what script should i run before that script or maybe within that script you put some logic maybe i am running script 3 but i know before script 3 script 2 and script 1 should be started as an example, I am running some services, but before that, that service should be up. 
but that is part of the some other script all right so that kind of dependency so everything can be automated using the make file but make file using some standard syntax which is not the python syntax so if one one programmer is only related to the python he only know python and he want to use some python syntax to automate the task so in this we are automating the task so but the person who want to use the python syntax so for that we can use the make file you, we can use the invoke sorry invoke invoke tool so even if you read this documentation it is mentioned clearly here it draws inspiration from various sources called make make rake so forget about the rake and fabric just uh, like think about the make so same as the make so make is make file is used so we like in the make file we create one make file we write uh, some name and under that name we write some uh, program which we want to execute and then to call that we will just write make build make clean make services make download make publish so we just like run one command we don't need to give the whole path name and under that command whatever the file name whatever the path whatever the function we have defined it is going to be done so similarly it draws the inspiration from the make but specifically related to the python so if your intention is to use across the wider project maybe your project has the java as well dot net as well then uh, you can't use the invoke but if your project is related specific to the python then invoke is one of the best option even you don't need to learn about the unnecessary tool like make tool you can just uh, like uh, focus on your invoke and just writing your python syntax and you can use that so invoke is used to automate any task in the python similarly we use we use the make file okay so there is a documentation you can open the documentation as well so pypy so we know how to install pip install invoke all right so let's install even though i have installed but still we can install pip install invoke and we can hit enter so you could see uh, requirement like uh, already satisfied invoke okay which is fine and 2.2.0 version is already installed okay fine now so there are a lot of documentation there are so many options like which we can use but in this video we will cover about the some basic which we should know if we if any project we join any company if any project is like using that invoke okay so let me close this so i have already like document here so it is used to to do any task automation it is used for any automation but how to how to use this so how to use this so you need to define the task in the python script and then execute that from the command line tool so basically like what it did is so let me first tell you about the make file because then you have some idea so let me get the make file so that's a make file so what we did is we will just do build and we will like uh, maybe uh, like execute uh, some script right here and then maybe like clean maybe you will execute some some script here all right and maybe like uh, uh, test then you would execute some script here so there is a one one file and when we have to run we will come here we will run make build okay whatever the whatever the mention in under the build it is going to be executed if we run make clean so what it will do is make command will search for the make file and whatever mention under the clean it is going to run that when we run make test or make test local maybe some some other other like automation uh test local and whatever we want to run under that local we can mention that and if i run make test local so what it will do it is going to search for the make file and then so we are automating our task so instead of manually running python this python this python this the whole location name so we will everything uh, right under the make file and what we have to do is must, that's it make build make clean make test make uh, make a uh, test local make run local all these things all right so similarly but make file if you see the syntax which i just show you make file is not a python related syntax all right but if you want to use something related to the python related syntax then we have the invoke so how to similarly we are using make make test right make build make publish all right similarly we have to use invoke invoke test 
maybe test is one of the function invoke build maybe a build is invoke the function make services maybe maybe it is one of the function may make uh, invoke run local but if i run so we have to use instead of the make command we have to use the invoke command but if i run invoke and hit enter you will see it is giving some error can't find any collection name task so whenever you run the so when if you want to use invoke so what you have to do is you have to create one file called tasks.py file so let's suppose we are uh, we create one directory invoke code so this is learning so i i was testing so it, it is not going to pick this file because by default it is going to pick the file name tasks.py file so now if i run invoke so you could see now it is giving me some other options okay i found the task.py file but what task you want to run what task you want to run because in this task.py file no task has been defined no task has been defined so one thing is that if you want to use the invoke you have to install the invoke so first option is first option is install the invoke okay now you have to define your automation task all right so the other option is you have to create the task.py file maybe you will like if you are this github repository one project you will create on the root of the project uh, so this is my library just to learn some python concepts so i created one one folder uh, invoke tutorials and under that i created task.py file because it is linked to the invoke tutorials but in your github repo you will you can create on the root of the project task.py file okay so other thing is that you need to invoke uh, you need to create a file with the name task.py file even though this name is not mandatory but by default by default it will pick the task.py file as an example like make by default look for the invoke file when you run the docker build it is by default look for the docker file all right when you are when you, whenever you are on docker compose it is by default look for the docker compose file but it doesn't mean that you have to create the docker file you can create some other name but you have to pass that file name similarly in the invoke uh, by default is the task.py file but if you want to create some other file you can create that but you have to pass that file name using minus f option okay so we created uh one file card toaster but how to use that so first first because invoke is used to automate the task so one first thing is that we need to so if we if we go here so we we need to invoke using just invoke command so it is it took the information from the make file which we already covered invoke is more pythonic i told you make file is not a pythonic make is just kind of a like some tab separated syntax so that is not a pythonic so invoke is more pythonic so if you are more comfortable with the python then go with the invoke command right so tasks are defined using the python code while you can make your own syntax right so even if so this is the github repository so this is the github repository for the invoke and it has like four approximately four thousand stars so this is the python okay so now uh, how to use this how to use it so i told you we need to create a file task.py file but it is not mandatory you have to create the file name with task.py file you can create the any other file name if you not create i already show you it is it is giving me the error i could not find the collection name task.py collection means a group of tasks that's it okay now you created the file now we have to define the task but to define that task, we have to import that so other thing is import the task function so from invoke from invoke we need to import the task okay now let's suppose let's suppose you have you you want to create some function a def a def build maybe or maybe task one task one all right and in that you want to execute executing task one right so executing so, so i define the task but uh what we have to do is we have to add the decorator task to to make it as a task along with that we have to pass the context so i so either you can use context either you can use c right so that's it that's it so now if you run invoke invoke task one so if i click enter what it will do is it will search for the task.py file then it will search for this task task one does it find any task because if i don't define this function nah, then it is not going to be run see no idea what task one is because it doesn't have a, it find the task.py file but it doesn't find the task one all right so 
to define the function as a task we need to add a decorator called a task and we we can like uh, invoke this from the uh, we can like uh, import this from the invoke library okay fine so we define so similarly similarly we can define other task as well that define uh, def task 2 and we have to pass the context variable print executing task 2 sorry so now we can execute the task 2 as well so only task 2 has been executed we can execute the task 1 again right if we if i want to know but old task exist what i have to do invoke hyphen hyphen list so now it is shows shows me available tasks are task 1 and task 2 so these are the available tasks which i can run which i can run okay so that is uh, that is done now let's go to the documentation so you need to create a task.py file which is done you need to add the decorator to the function which is also done you need to pass the context argument as the positional argument that is c which we already done then execute the task user invoke command which we already done okay so but this is this is very very basic but in the actual in the actual like a uh, uh, project we are not going to do this we are going to some some complicated things maybe uh, let's suppose maybe if we are running invoke task one maybe i need to pass some parameter maybe i need to pass some parameter then how i can because if i pass some parameter it is not accepting any parameter so this is not going to be work right so the other thing is one second so that is that is an, now we can pass the extra ar argument in the definition and that argument we can pass using the command line tool All right so let's create one more task add the right task so maybe uh maybe let's suppose uh, task is build and c and we can pass some parameter clean uh clean and we can by default give some value false and now we will see if clean then print executing clean all right otherwise print only building okay now if i run invoke build all right so by default by default it will take because i have i did not pass any argument uh like so by default it will take clean as a default argument false so if it is false then it is not going to be execute clean otherwise it is just uh, running building so that's why it's running building but if i want to pass the invoke as a uh, clean as a parameter invoke build so whatever the argument we are passing now automatically invoke will convert into the short and long syntax short and long syntax means i either i can use minus c or either i can I, I can use minus minus clean so if i just ran invoke build hyphen hyphen clean hyphen hyphen clean is by default i am passing the true so if i click so you see the clean now is the true so now it's executing clean now it's executing the building along with that i don't need to pass the hyphen hyphen clean i just pass minus c and if you hit enter it is still executing clean and executing building but if i don't pass anything then it will take as a default as a false and then it only going to execute building so other thing is we can pass the uh some argument okay but this is the argument which you which is just the, like the boolean argument true and false so there could be some argument which i don't want to give some some like uh, some parameter some default argument then how how can i do that okay so let's go to the documentation okay so you can pass the extra argument and definition with the command line too okay now now we have to pass some extra argument let's pass the extra argument so task maybe function is greet some some greet function and we have to greet now we will do print print okay hello and then name all right so now if i invoke if i invoke invoke because if i do invoke hyphen hyphen list so if you see greet is one of the tasks available so if greet is greet is one of the tasks available i can invoke using invoke greet so if i hit enter it is giving me the error greek did not receive uh, like receive for the required position arguments name so it did it doesn't receive like position argument name because it is uh, like uh, this is the position argument right this is not the keyword argument okay so now i need to pass 
and i told you whatever the arguments we are passing in work by default convert into the short and long syntax short and long syntax means now i can invoke invoke grid minus minus name i can enter sumanchu so now it it says hello sumanchu even i can do hyphen n so it is again printing sumanchu or i can do hyphen n if i like a double word sumanchu space then kana and you could see hello sumanchu nangana or i can do hyphen hyphen name so any any way like if you give hyphen hyphen name you give space hyphen and you can use hyphen and you can double equal to you hyphen hyphen and equal to so anything you can pass or you you can only pass sumanchu here so it automatically take as a first argument so you don't you even don't need to do minus uh, like uh, minus n or minus n so these are the different uh, format which you can pass the uh, some argument okay so you can pass the argument you don't you you can't pass the argument you can pass the argument and you can see what all the uh, task you have created till now so these are the available task okay now the next thing so next thing is uh okay so these are the okay one is the help parameter we can add the metadata information to describe the task argument we need to use the help parameter so as an example as an example so if i run invoke grid all right invoke grid because uh, let's suppose i don't want to every time uh, like uh, open the task.py file all right and i just invoke grid and it is giving me the error name all right but what actually name is is it the name of the person is the name of any file or what actually name is so it it is not giving me the any information it is not giving me the any information all right so let me create one more task def grid and greet uh, one All right so greet greet uh, one and c and name and print f hello name so if you do invoke hyphen f on list so one more function is available greet one and if you do invoke greet one sumanshu and it's it's working so which which is like uh, early earlier function as well i just like rename the function so now uh as an example if i do invoke hyphen hyphen help so it it what it will it will give me it will give me all the parameters all the parameters uh available in the help so i can use minus l option i can use minus p i can use minus r minus r so so all these option okay now now if i have to do so if i have to do invoke invoke greet one hyphen hyphen help so hello hello and then uh, okay so it is taking as an argument and i think something invoke hyphen hyphen help and greet one so it is giving me some some like uh, so it it is saying there is no doc string and uh, so basically i want to i want some information more the greet one function so what is greet one function so i am using invoke help help of which thing help of greet one so it is not giving me any kind of doc string it is okay saying you can use minus n it is it is showing me you can use minus minus n which is also fine it is saying you can pass the string which is also fine it is saying we can pass the string but it is not giving me any so what is minus n what is name it is a name of any person name of some file what is this so it is not giving me any any anything so you can pass so these parameter come under the help option so you can pass help help here help equal to i think uh, that is the same thing so name uh name and uh, i think this is the way uh let let me let me cross check i also forget so how can we pass so yeah so you can pass help and then key and then the value so like this so you can pass help and the key and the value so we can say the name of the person to whom we want to Great. Okay. So now, 
if i run again grid 1 so you could see it is giving me that the name of the person so what is minus n what is n might is minus n what is minus one is name so it is earlier it, it it was not telling me earlier it was not telling me so if you go about i think it's clear now earlier it was not telling me now it is telling me the name of the person to whom we want to grid so this is just basically the extra information if you want to this is the, you can see the metadata information okay now let's go to the next part so the next thing, thing is you can also run the shell commands you can run the shell, shell commands like uh, echo so how to, how to run that so at the task and def run shell command and we have to do that task. now you have to do c dot run c dot so you have to you have to use this context you have to use the run option c dot run and now you can use echo so shell command echo sumanshu now now one thing first let me tell invoke list now if you if you observe here the function which i created with the name underscore run underscore shell but the task is available using run hyphen shell command so if i'm going to run invoke run underscore shell underscore command it is saying it doesn't have any idea what is red run underscore shell underscore command is right so what invoke will do is invoke will convert underscore to hyphen because hyphen we can't use here we know and in the function name we can't use the hyphen it is treated as a minus symbol right so under the in the function name we can use the hyphen we can use the underscore but if you use invoke hyphen hyphen list it automatically convert underscore to the hyphen run shell command so if i do invoke run shell command so now it is printing echo smart show all right so you can like basically i want to show you if you have the function name and you define some long function i'm using underscore and if you want to run the function and you say no no, no i'm not getting what is that so the best thing is best thing is first do minus minus list and you will automatically going to know okay what invoke do this invoke converting automatically underscore to the hyphen okay now the next thing sometimes you want to run some pre-task prior to the execution of the main task so basically there is some dependency as an example if i want to run something and before that before that i want my docker should be up my files get be downloaded from the s3 and then particular my python scripts going to be run all right so i can define the dependency as an example as an example so let's suppose uh, so this is a task one this is a task two and i am defining task three def task three and print executing uh, task three so if if i do again invoke hyphen hyphen list so task three is available so task three so let me let me do like this only so task one is available task two is available task three is delivered so if i invoke only task three so only task three is executing but what i want is what i want is if i invoke task three before that whatever this pre-requirement should be automatically get installed should be automatically get up should be automatically get downloaded right so in, in the real, real world so what i have to do is i want to execute task one and task two before the task three so what i have to do is uh so under the task what i can do is task one comma task two which means is before the task three will be executed task one and task two should be executed if I run, so it shows executing task one, then executing task two, then executing task three. Let's suppose I want first task two should be executed, then task one should be executed, then task three should be executed. Okay, I can also do the same thing. Now that task two is executed, task one is executed, task three is executed, which is fine. Mm -hmm. There is a one more way. So let's put def, uh, sorry, not at the red, def task four and C and now print executing task four so now what i want is so let me create let me define as a task otherwise it is just a normal function now what i want is before task four 
task one and task two should be executed, but after task four, task three should be executed. Right? Okay. Before like before that, so this is one of the syntax. This is one of the syntax. But is there any any other syntax? Yes, there is any other. What you have to do is you have to define pre, and you can define task one, and task two, and task three. All right. So before task four, all this task will be executed. So invoke task four. So you could see execute task one, execute task two, execute task three, execute task four. So all these tasks will be executed. But okay, so these are the pre, but I want the post as well. So what you have to do is you will remove the task here. Let's suppose I want uh, before executing task three, task one, task two will be executed. But after task four, task three will be executed. So what I will do is post and do task three. That's it. So if I run invoke task four, so you see one, two, four and then three so basically you can set the dependencies which generally require in the actual project okay so you can define the dependency so there are uh, different way either you can define like this uh, within the task or either you can use the pre option and if you want to use the post dependency you can use the post option okay now if you if you observe if you observe this file if you observe this file we are creating so many tasks. So in the actual project, let's suppose you created file, you created uh, you created file task.py file, and you are creating so many tasks. And uh, the tasks are related to some tasks are related to the database, some tasks related to the files, some tasks related to the documents. Maybe you are creating some documents uh, like make docs, some, some kind of thing, make docs, similarly invoke docs, invoke publish docs, invoke uh, clean docs, something like that. Uh, right so some tasks are related to the documentation some tasks are related to the actual work some tasks are related to some docker thing right so by looking at this now by looking at this this is not organized this is totally not organized correct so because i don't know whether task one task two built so this is the built task this is task one task two this is clean task this is a grid task right this is shell task so these are these are basically not organized. So how can I organize this? So I can organize this in a groups. In a groups means so let's suppose there are some document tasks, right? So create the document, publish the document, clean the document. So these are some three tasks, right? So all these three tasks I want to create a group called docs, right? So I can put all these three tasks in a group. And maybe some other uh, some other task some other group I can create, uh, which is going to make the Docker up, which is going to download my files from the S3, which is going to load my those uh, like S3 files into uh, into some some memory into some database. So those are some different tasks. Maybe we can uh, give some other name. So we can basically group those tasks. So how can I group those tasks and but these so basically those groups are called the namespace and how to create a namespace using one more module called collection class. So what you have to do is you have to in from invoke you have to import the collection. I think it's collection or collection. Yeah, it's collection only. All right. So it's collection. Okay. So this is a collection. So now you have to organize uh, like uh, this task so let me but let me do one thing uh, let me delete everything let me delete everything so and let me copy paste these things and i can give task 3 task 4 task 3 to make it like a very simple task for so we have like a uh, four task so if you do invoke hyphen hyphen list so we have four task but let's suppose uh this is related to the documentation uh, maybe what i can do is create documents and uh, publish documents and this is related to some some other group maybe uh download s3 files so this is not related to the documents and maybe this is related to clean s3 files right 
so these are so these are the different are so currently i am using the print option so you don't need to like you see like what is this we are using print option why can't we use and just be uh, why we have to use the invoke so this is just normally you have you can create the whole python script maybe you can use the os dot system and then you can like uh, execute the whole python script python uh, the path of path of script and maybe script one dot py file you can execute the whole whole python script similarly in the so maybe that create documents is a one python script so you can execute that all right okay so now we have uh, uh but this is not organized right so how we are going to know this is a uh, task one task two task three task four but what is task one task two is it related to the documentation is it related to the s3 files what is this so what we can do is we can group those files so let's create a group so let's create a uh, docs group so using the collection module and give it a name docs give it a name docs okay now we can add the task we can add that as so under the doc, docs group which task i want to which which task i want to add i want to add task one and what alias name i can do so i can give a name create create right now docs dot add task so what which other task i want to add in that doc groups task task two task two and what alias name i can give publish publish all right so this one one group has been created so let's pause uh, uh other group other group is is not a documentation so s3 s3 uh, s3 tasks so this is the another group so let's create a group so how to create a group using a collection let's give it some, uh, some name s3 s3 tasks s3 tasks and now let's add the task in that group so here only we created the empty group so in that group we need to add the task so what task i want to add so task three i want to add so uh, download all right and uh, s3 task dot add task and i can give the I can add the task task four and I can uh, you uh, like give the alias name clean. So instead of task four, I can use it enter clean. Okay, so now these are uh, that uh, second clear. So we just created a group, but if I do only invoke hyphen hyphen list, is it working? So you could see this is not working. This is again created a separate task because we created a group, we created a group. But we have not created a root level group. So we have to create a root level group as well. So as an example, we can create a main group. We can call it as a main group. And we can give it a collection. And now in under the main group, we can add the collection. Add the, so, so what is the collection? What is the collection? So one collection is the docs. We have to add this doc collection. Okay main group dot add collection what is the other collection what is the other collection s3 task s3 task so if if you run invoke hyphen hyphen list so okay uh there is something wrong there is something wrong let me check how to add the collection so that is fine we let let me let me uncomment this so what we have to do is we have to create a group. We created a group. We created those tasks. We created a group. So we created names. We created a collection. Uh, group one, group two. Okay, we created a collection. Group one and the group two. So that is fine. Uh, what is the issue? Uh, so we created a dogs. Dogs as a collection. And uh, we created add collection under the main group yeah that is fine why it's not working invoke hyphen hyphen list it is still showing task one task two task two but what i want is it it is showing me uh, docs dot create docs dot publish so task name should be docs dot create docs dot publish and there should be something like s3 s3 dot download or uh, maybe like s3 task s3 s i can do s3 task something is wrong let me let me figure it out like what actually it is wrong something is wrong uh, 
something is wrong like it's not creating a main group uh just give me a minute let let me cross check okay so the bug is the bug is whenever you create the main collection uh, whenever you create the main collection so you you can't use this underscore so you can't use this underscore so if i just remove the underscore lest everything will be remain same and let's suppose i created a, a main namespace and i i add the correction so if i run invoke list so now you could see now the task by looking at the task i can see okay there is a task docs create docs publish s3 clean s3 download so if i do invoke docs dot create you could see creating docs publish so you could see publish doc so s3 clean cleaning s3 s3 download so download s3 files so basically this is this is this collection are basically used to organize your task in the project because uh, earlier what 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 we are saying is uh, in if i do like a list what we are saying is task 1 task 2 task 3 task 4 but what is task 1 task 2 task 3 task 4 like it's not properly like organized right the only thing is i i go to know is uh, by looking open the task.py file and then uh, see uh, what uh, uh, what is that task but if i don't want to open the py file by looking at this option invoke task so i can see okay this this crate is under the docs so it means uh, under the docs group so it, it is something related to the document creation it is something related to the published document it is something related to the cleaning some s3 file it is written to something something downloaded uh, downloaded the s3 s3 files all right so basically you can organize that task okay so that is also done okay so few few more things uh, just uh, ending the video so if you want to see more option uh, what we can do invoke hyphen hyphen help so there are not so many option there are so many option why it is not showing the so many option so invoke yeah so you could see if i write invoke there are so many issues. invoke hyphen hyphen complete so as an example if you run invoke hyphen hyphen complete so it is giving me all the task. Now you, you can question, we can get the old task, task using hyphen hyphen list option, but see the difference. So if you run invoke hyphen hyphen list, it is giving me this uh, definition as well, available task, and then some indentation. So complete is giving me like, it's just, uh, just a task name. So if I run invoke, and if you see the complete, uh, what actually complete is print, tab completion candidate for given parse uh, remainder so it is basically like do that so there are so many option you can you, i i told you uh, there is not mandatory to create the file with touch.py file you can use the minus f or maybe you can give the minus minus config runtime configuration file to use so so many other option all right so but normally normally in day to day like what we use is we just create the task we create the uh, namespace or you can say the uh, organize our task and just run our task uh, using the invoke command or the, the other thing is we can use the dependency. So let's suppose I want to run task two before that. So those dependency we can set pre and the post dependency. So these are the main thing like which we like generally use uh, in our day to day life. So this is, I can say invoke is uh, not something which you can use in any other project the only thing is the only disadvantage of the invoke is you can use only in the python project but the advantage of the make make is uses you can use across all the projects but the disadvantage of the make is that is not something python uh, like a uh, pythonic way to organize uh, to automate the task that is their own way because it was some initially built for the C and C++ language and let, later down the line it is being used by some other language as well but that is not Pythonic way. So if you see this is more Pythonic way because we know how to create a function, we know how to add, add the decorator, we know how to import the files, we know like what we want to execute and if we want to execute some some whole Python script, I, I told you just import the OS module and run OS.system. And maybe you want to run some process, sub process dot call, sub process dot run, whatever you want to run. So this is the more Pythonic way. So if you want more Pythonic way, then go with the invoke only in the, but in the only in the Python project. 
but if you don't want the pythonic way you want the normal standard way then you can use the make pipe so that's it that's the end of the video uh thank you